We can't go to Bella Noche. Where can we go? Okay, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Daquana White. I bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content. I know a lot of this week is going to be fashion videos. However, I do have vlogs in the work. It's just been so much going on, y'all. But we kind of back on track. Like, we are back on track. So with that being said, today I'm bringing you all a Shein Fit Plus video. I do have a Shein Curve video coming like maybe a day after this, to be honest. So yeah, we doing Shein Fit Plus and Shein Curve separately because I feel like my last Shein Curve haul had a lot of Shein Fit Plus stuff in it. And I still want to try Shein Curve to see if, you know, the actual plus size baddies can get into their four X's and if they're fitting like a real us 2022 like they say but with that being said we're actually going to get into the fit plus items first i'll have my coupon code on the screen and in my description bar and in my pinned comment so that you can't miss it um but yeah with all that being said let's just go ahead and hop in i do not want to ramble too much because we actually have quite a few items i'm actually going to have this long line bra on for all the bottoms to begin then we have dresses and two-piece sets and things like that so First we have here is this like, this is called the booty pant, but I feel like it's not really giving us the booty pant. Now I actually have on like a, a very sheer short underneath um, and it's a yitty short underneath. So yeah, if you start to see like the line of demarcation, that's just what that is. Um, so yeah, this is a cute pant. I'm 5'4", I have my measurements linked down below. Um, it's a nice length on me to wear with a sandal, but not with a heel. For booty pants, it's not anything I would wear with a heel anyway. It's just like a sandal type of pant. So the length isn't bad for me. My toes just got to be done. <laughs> okay. And then this is how it looks in the back. I do feel like it's not like it's giving booty, but it's also giving a slight dip. And it's also not like that really thin material that we're used to when you get booty pants that's going to have you jiggling around. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I know <laughs> these pants are y'all's favorites. Well, some people's favorites to actually have the booty jiggle. But this, you're not going to get a booty jiggle with these. Okay, so here we have this score. It's a really pretty color. I honestly was drawn to it because of the color. It's gorgeous. I love this like hunter kind of deep emerald type of green it's beautiful i think this is more of a hunter nonetheless i feel like yes it's a skirt, so it's supposed to be like short skirt that kind of thing but i really just don't like stuff being like right under my butt i'm already like not a short girl so to have it like right there i'm like i don't know now if this was a skirt it would be a heck no but because it's a skirt, i could see it in the fall with like some tights over the knee boots or a booty or something so i'm like i will hold on to it for that reasoning but to just wear it out like this i don't think so like <laughs> i do not think so but um yeah nonetheless i love how it looks in the front for me it's just too short in the back so if i was to wear it it would be with a duster something that's longer in the back and flowy so that's how i would rock this it's actually really nice in the front like love the front area of this by the way those last pants were a 24 i wish i would have got them in a 26 i felt like they would have a little more length and a little more like height in the back but for this skirt it's a 26 and i feel like it's almost like perfect and this is what it looks like underneath the little flap okay, okay so this actually shocked me i think it's a 26 i won't keep saying the numbers it'll get repetitive so i'll just have the sizes on the screen and tell you how i feel like it fits so this, I actually feel like it fits a little small, which I'm glad I went ahead and sized up. Even, I told you guys in my last Shein Fit Plus haul that I feel like even though they are expanding their sizes and going into like a US 32 and things like that, I still feel like you have to size up. So um, if you are, I feel like a US, uh, actual US 28 that's probably the highest Shein really goes to when you're talking about the fit unless it's like flowy but when it comes to denim and like the thick materials 
I don't really feel like it's true to size per se um, because I can get this skirt in like a 3x 2022 from a US boutique and it fits perfectly but in Shein I have to go ahead and get a 26 which again it fits gorgeously but just keep in mind size up once or twice at least or at least try to find a cheaper item where you can buy two to see which one fits the best and kind of go based on that but that's why we do these reviews in these hauls because yes I love this I'm not really a y'all know skirt super short or short girl but I actually really like this the length is not bad the style is gorgeous it's definitely on trend and I also feel like it's almost effort not effortless but timeless when it comes to this because a jean skirt it's never going out of style like I don't feel like that and this is how it looks in the back so I like the length in the back. It hits at a really nice point. It doesn't feel like, mm, I don't really know about this. Like, I actually like the length of this. Um, the only thing I would do is just put on a little, like, short spandex uh, short just because it's still a skirt. And if I'm walking up or, you know, people are creeps or you just don't want it to ride up, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, I like this. It is more so like a true denim fit. So it's not really stretchy at all. Like it's not a stretch denim. So that is this one here. It's more so a stiff, real cotton like material. I'm so happy I decided to just go ahead and try this short one because I was definitely going to just stick to the skirts, shorts, and then like the jeans. But you know, this is a perfect example of why we do try on hauls because that last short or skirt jeans skirt whatever was a us 26 supposedly then we have this one here which is a us 26 and i can't even girl girl what so yeah no this wouldn't work it's actually a very pretty like short it is like studded and maybe that's why it runs smaller but they also say that black tends to run smaller or is it white I forgot but nonetheless this just doesn't work for me um you yeah, know you yeah, know but it is supposed to be like some coochie cutters it's supposed to be some coochie cutters but you yeah, know but it, it now my good. love meter goes based off of fit feel and trend okay material too but that's the feel and the fit so this love now it does ride up in the back i would recommend maybe a cotton short with this and not anything spandex because it'll just slide up and honestly i feel like you probably won't even need a short underneath unless you just want you know to protect your lady parts if you know walking up steps and all that good stuff but this is gorgeous love this skirt down it's actually very trendy i think there's like a high-end comparable skirt like set or something or dress I feel like I've seen that. Um, this reminds me of something I think Diara had wore. Um, I've seen, I feel like Cardi B. I've recently seen the People's Princess of Rap, which is not my princess, but Miss um, Spice. I saw her with something like this on a cover for Billboard. So yeah, this is definitely trendy right now. It's like a crochet type of feel and it's gorgeous. I love the fringe. Love the colors. For me, I probably just put on something really sheer, like a white sheer duster, let it flow, a white bodysuit or like bralette, a white heel. That's probably how I'm gonna dress this up um, because yes ma'am, love this and I love the shape it gives as well. Um, again, it just does ride up. So that's why I feel like I would want something just flowy around it because yeah, no. Um, also, um, if I, you know, am not keeping something, it will be in my closet sale this week. So if you see this haul this week and I'm deciding not to keep stuff from that haul, it'll be in my closet sale that same week if it's like posted before then. Um, or even if it's not, it'll just be that week. Okay. And with that being said, I do have a closet sale coming this Thursday and everything. And I'm not keeping like I really only try to keep four items max from every haul. Um a good maybe 10% if that from every haul because my closet it just has been accumulating stuff and I'm trying to get rid of it so with that being said I'm really not going to keep a lot of stuff unless I like super duper fall in love with it okay and this is one of those pieces but the first four I probably won't just because 
if it's not going to be utilized almost immediately or something I just really love long term, then yeah, I'm not putting it in my closet because I'm already trying to <laughs> clean out my closet. Um, and I do my live streams on weekdays, usually at night. Sometimes we'll do a Saturday or Sunday and it's usually seven or nine and we go for three hours and everything starts at one dollar. OK, OK, I think this is my last skirt and then no matter of fact, I have a denim skirt. And then I have a pair of jeans and then we'll get into the dresses and the sets. But this skirt here is giving corporate baddie. It's giving business chic. I love this skirt. Um, it's something I'll probably go with white accessories just to make it pop a little more, um, especially for the summer. Now, if it's like fall and I'm wearing this, I'll probably go maybe like a thigh boot or a booty. Um, not thigh boot, a calf boot. <laughs> like something short but comes like to the calf right at the bottom of the skirt or just a small like short booty and I would do a darker top, maybe a turtleneck or something, maybe a leather jacket or a blazer or a peacoat, doesn't really matter. I feel like you can dress this up in the summer slash spring or spring slash summer in the fall slash winter. Um, if I'm wearing it now, I would definitely go with white accessories just to make it pop and make it a little more bright. Um, so yeah, I love this. Length is perfect. There's no peekaboo slits, which I love because that way you can just wear your shorts or your leggings or something if you want to have a smoother look without having to worry about a slit or anything like that. Um, this fits really nice and it is a thicker material. And I actually didn't get a 24 or a 26. I got a 22 because I didn't want it to be like too oversized. I wanted it to be pencil. And I honestly feel like I could have even got a 20 or if they have 18. I don't know if they have 18, but I could have sized down some more and gave it a tighter fit. And it still wouldn't have lost the quality of the print and the pattern. So I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to wear this probably to one of my work strategy sessions. I just had one yesterday and it was amazing. And that's why I feel so good today. Like we're on track doing my content as I planned. We planned out our schedules and our weeks and like we really, it's crunch time, it's grind mode. Like we got the platform, we got the base or we're creating platforms and bases and we can do it. Like really all it requires is persistence, consistency and like good timing and great quality content. So with that being said, I'm not gonna keep ranting because we do have quite a few more things to get into, but this is a love item, absolutely love this. Y'all, I literally sucked my teeth when I saw that this was a freaking 24. I was like, darn, like, why did I go for a 24? And I think it was because of the length. I didn't want it to be like too, I didn't want it to look too, I don't know, like too oversized. Because sometimes like when I go to PLT or Boohoo, Nasty Gal and things like that, they have like the really like long jean skirts and stuff, but it's like really oversized and not cute. This one, I should have gotten a 26 or a 28, um, probably a 26 just to at least get it closed. Um, as you can see, it's very like it's a real denim material. It's constricted here and it just doesn't work. This is supposed to be, you probably like, girl, it touches. No, this is supposed to be like, ugh. okay, so this button is supposed to reach over here. Like that's supposed to latch and then it's one on the inside where this is supposed to reach so no this doesn't work i do feel like it had so much potential um it's probably twisted on the butt but i love the band back here i thought it had that elastic so it'll be fine yeah no so this doesn't work aka it'll be on my whatnot this week um it's actually tuesday so day after tomorrow i'll be live at like i think 7 30 to maybe 10 30 11. um I do giveaways and stuff there too. It's not just me, you know, auctioning the clothes and hair and stuff like that. I love these. Okay. So everything about these are amazing and I just love them. Like I have no complaints. Um, so these I got in a 28 and it's funny because the tag says 28, but the white tag says 20, but the black tag says 28. So that's interesting to me because, hmm. But anywho, these are so cute. Every time I wear jeans like this, I think of my little sister. This is definitely her style. She likes a cargo pant, like anything wide leg. Um, she's into like the Y2K and the K-pop and stuff like that. So yeah, anywho, this is gorgeous. I love the fit of them. If I would have went smaller, I probably wouldn't have liked it. It probably would have been too like cupped on the stomach. But this one here looks 
amazing i like the graphics on the jeans it's definitely something i would do more of a streetwear look with honestly i would probably take the hem off the bottom of the dream jean and fray it and do something like that but I, like i have no complaints with this the length for me is like almost perfect it's a little long but i would just wear like a chunky shoe or boot or something um like i said just cut a little bit of the length off the bottom but this is perfect for me because it's really hard sometimes the jeans i get drag the floor or they're super duper high so i like these even in the back i feel like i can still pull it up some i do feel like i can pull it up like a little too high and that's the reason i really didn't want it sitting too high because then it'll look like okay girl what you doing but i would definitely go with something real revealing at the top and i don't know why that one doing that all right anyways something real revealing at the top and um to go with this because yeah the bottom is like oversized baggy and wide leg Gorgeous. okay so this is definitely giving spring summer i love this color combination it's actually gorgeous in person it's a little warmer it's showing up a little cool on camera but these colors are definitely warmer in person love that you can zip this up or down i would definitely yeah i would definitely go for it down i think that's more of a vibe for me and then you have this belt too and i realized with the fit plus collection you are getting more width in that belt because sometimes you get like plus size stuff or um extended sizes and the belt is still short af but this one you get a lot of room with it you can tie it around the front and back around the back if you want to so you can have it tied in the front or the back side whatever you choose the material is very very light it feels actually like a sporty type of dress material and i love it i do like the scoops on the side but they do or swoops like i like that swoop bottom but girl you're getting a lot of thigh action a lot of thigh meat out there and this is how it looks in the back so i'm not mad about the thigh action i don't think it's too much but okay so this is really really cute um if you're not aware i have another dress like this too i'll try that one on after the next dress and it's like one of those abstract body yaddy yaddy dresses this is like a mesh i would wear it as a top to be honest like it's cute as a dress but it's mesh it's completely see-through um so be mindful of course of what's underneath i feel like it's definitely a festival look where you will wear like a booty short and a bralette underneath nothing too crazy um but yeah this is one of those like abstract body drawing type of dresses and that has been very very on trend very lightweight it's mesh it's sheer so yeah um it's definitely perfect for the season um even if you wanted to do like swim cover just don't want something but i just see this as like a festival type of look to me um i like it though it's nothing you know to what they say <laughs> write home about but it's cute and it's on trend it's something simple and affordable to throw in your closet for the summer and let just that be that now, okay so when we pick out pieces i think we definitely we have no choice unless we're in store trying things on when it's on the model you have no choice but to be like oh, okay but sometimes you have to do like you do have to think a little bit you know out of the box right so for this i'm like oh it'll be a cute nightgown it's actually a very thick this is not your average like t-shirt dress material it's very thick and very heavy and i like that not like hot and heavy but has some weight to it so i can appreciate that this is really nice though like this is how the back looks has a nice length to it i do personally feel i'm sorry i saw something that was just like what is going on up there it's a mess um the paint job but anyways um this i feel like you can definitely do like one of those graphic tee cut up type of designs at the top take some string like cut the hem off of the bottom of the dress and then i think i'm gonna do a diy with this just because it's very chill and <clears throat> what's in my throat but okay, okay so these the dresses are called a body do dresses or the body yada yada dresses because you have the silhouette of the body on it. This is super duper on trend. I don't know when it became on trend. I just started seeing it all over social media and 
it became a thing. <laughs> so some of, sometimes it is a mesh dress and you have this. Other times it's like this where it's like stretchy, not quite mesh, and you have the little body design. Um, I think they're like the, not ultrasound, like x-ray type of vibes. It's cute, but it's like where am I wearing this to unless I'm going to like a club or something like I just don't know. I don't know if this is my personal favorite of a trend. Okay. Um, this top part is mesh. I actually sized down to a 22 to this one because usually y'all know with the Shein, I'm getting 24s, 26s, 28s because you have to size up. But I did get a 22 because I wanted it to be like snatched, body yaddy yaddy. I'm glad I didn't lose any of the pigment from or the color from this dress by sizing down. And I think it's it's cute, you know? It's cute. Like, I can't say nothing really bad about it other than I just don't think it is my trend. This is how it looks on the back. Um, I definitely have to start paying close attention to the materials because I have to send a 24 thinking it'll be, like, super duper stretchy. But it's, like, a cotton material, so it doesn't have ample stretch. And I feel like it doesn't look that great on me. Like, I feel like it had more potential on the website than when I got it. And that's just because it doesn't fit how I want it to. I have been doing my 5 a.m. going to the gym with Brittany. And we have been killing it in the gym. But like, and I thought this would be like a fire little, you know. But no, it's not giving. It's cute, but not for me. Like, it just doesn't fit how I want it to. Um, Y'all keep a lookout because my collection is dropping soon. But this is how it looks in the back. It actually goes right here. So you can see my short up here. And yeah, I feel like if I was to wear this, I would have to do a bunch of pulling it down and adjusting and I'm just not wanting to do that. So um, when you're working out, the last thing you want to worry about is like, oh, my pants falling down. Oh, I'm walking on a treadmill. Got to keep adjusting. Oh, I'm lifting weights. Oh, can't squat because my butt, like, that's the worst. So yeah, this is a no-go for me. But and this is really cute. Definitely something I had got for like around the house. Um, I would wear the top out, but these shorts is like, girl, bye. Um, if I'm wearing these anywhere, it'll be to work out. Like, no ma'am. But these are cute, okay? Um, these two pieces are cute. I like them together. I mean, it's simple. It's definitely, you can throw in a sneaker with this one, or you can just, you know, a little slide, bubble slide, crock, whatever. Um, what's the other one? Like, a little Yeezy slide, whatever the case is. But, yeah. This for me... The shorts are really short, really, really short, girl. These for me are around the cribbo. Nothing I would wear outside. Um, my little sis probably gonna want these for real, this outfit. And I'm be like, girl, you can have about two outfits or something. Okay, because I still gotta go through my activewear closet and um, give her some stuff from there. But I do actually like this. It's not bad at all. Um, I did actually get this in a 22. I don't know if I wanted it to be like booty, booty, booty shorts. But yeah, I think a 24 in the shorts would have fit more comfortably. Because it does dig slightly here. Now we know it be all the way up here sometimes. And I was like, absolutely, absolutely. I was really excited. Honestly, that was like what sold me on this two-piece set. Other than the colors, like, I love the color scheme. The color palette here is really, really nice. Um, I love the drawstring. It's like a cotton material, but it has, like, a little bit of stretch. Um, a really lightweight set. I definitely feel like it could be a gym set. It could be chill set, real cute, something vacation, traveling, whatever. But I feel like if I'm going to travel, I'm probably going to wear something long if I'm traveling, like, train, plane, like, in a public area and not driving. Um, this is how it looks in the back. It looks a little funny because I pulled my shorts down so you guys can see they actually come up nice and high. So my shorts are like here and they're digging. So that's not cute. But this set is cute and I absolutely love it. I already know little sis is going to try to take this too. So what I did was kept my bra on for these two sets. Now I'm going to take my bra off. So I'm going to go into two more dresses that don't require a bra. Then I have one, two, three more sets over there that also don't require a bra. So that's how I did it and kind of went out of order a little bit. But let's I knew this one was going to eat. Like I knew it. This is one of my favorite things from the Shein Fit Plus collection ever. Okay. I, I think I mentioned this. I was like, 
I love that Shein is giving us the trends that we want. A lot of the times when we see high-end pieces that our faves are wearing on Instagram or whatever, they don't make that pass an XL. And you're lucky to get an XL, okay? So it's amazing to see that. I know people don't like that Shein replicates or, you know, recreates. And so I like the fact that Shein does create pieces that... I mean, they're trendy, we want them, and you can't be mad. I mean, you can be mad that, you know, companies replicate or duplicate or whatever, you know, um, designs. You can be mad. But for me, it's like, baby, it's a, it's a catch-22. You're mad, but you also don't extend past a large or XL. And I'm not mad because I'm getting a size 24, 26 from Shein, like, up your sizes because we're willing to buy the product we just don't have the availability like you don't have the inventory for us so i mean be mad but i'm gonna be stylish <laughs> but no seriously um because i get it i wouldn't want my items stolen or anything and this is a slight rant um, i wouldn't want anything that i designed or anything like that stolen or replicated have it happened yes yes it has um i don't want it because when I do create stuff, I'm inclusive. We go from an extra small to a 6X, baby. Like, I try to be as inclusive as I can. And my brand is sustainable. So, I'm like, for me, you replicating for what? You replicating because it's hot, okay? Because I have the range. So, with that being said, I don't be feeling bad for the girls who don't go past uh, XL. I'm sorry. I can't buy it from you. Where can I buy it from? We can't go to Bella Noche. Where can we go? Okay. But anywho, yeah, this is cute. Love, love, love the movement. Okay, we are going salsa dancing. Hold on. Okay. I was trying to like... All right, there we go. So, the only thing about this, first of all, these straps are adjustable. They do crisscross in the back, but it's backless. And I'm not a backless girl. Like, I can do a deep V. I mean... It's like, eh, I don't know about that. Like, if it would have came to, like, right here, I would have been fine. But, I mean, all the rows out? For what? But, no, this is cute, though. Like, I used to envy the girls who had the smooth backs with no rows, but were, like, they had my hips, my stomach, and everything else. And it's like, well, where your back rows at? Like... The girls be having the smooth backs and the wide hips and the stomachs. And I'm like, I'll take a smooth flat back. But anywho, um, yeah, this dress is gorgeous. Love her down. I actually have one like this. And because this one is like backless, I probably won't hold on to her. But she's gorgeous. It's definitely free to nips because when I took the bra off, things got better. Like, I was feeling it more, you know. But no, um, this is gorgeous. I got the 2426, but I actually feel like I could have got a 22 if they had it. Because it's like a lot of room here. Like, just a lot. Like, I could take this in so much right here. Um, and still not have to do a bra. Nonetheless, the colors here. Can we get into the pleats? The length the the flow. Okay, the tie in the back gorgeous i do feel like this could also be belted if you wanted to belt it i feel like that would be cute too i think it'll add a little more definition to your waist um i'm trying to see without making my titties look crazy but yeah you can definitely add a little definition to the waist and hike it up a little bit like that and that would be like look at that that would be cute too um it will look different with the belt rather than me just pulling that material up but even without it I love this. It's something simple. It's effortless, but it's gorgeous. Definitely just got this to lounge around in. This actually says Angel. It's given like that tattoo old English type of font. Um, it's cute. It's comfortable. It's chill. It's ribbed. I sized down because I actually wanted to be a booty short. But for the sake of this video, I won't hike it up the way I would, you know, around the house. But yeah, just something comfortable and chill. I do like it. It's shorts. It's not a skirt. At first, I'm like, is this a skirt set? But it's shorts. So, yeah. Really, really short. Okay. Cuts down here, but I would actually have the cheeks out around here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I love this. Love this. 
gorgeous i'm so glad i got a 26 like the length amazing my toes again would have to be done but i don't mind that because i don't always want to cut my items so perfect now i would actually tie this tighter um actually i don't mind it being a little loosey-goosey but the straps will fall down so i would tie it tighter i just kept it tied how it came just for the sake of the try on but yes the print everything is given beach me vacation me tropical vibe me asap cruise me now okay um the pants i feel like are perfect they have a nice fitted type of vibe around the you know this top portion then it goes into that flow like and i also don't feel like you have to have on shapewear but if you wanted to you can just put on like a low cut thin 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 legging um oh my titties falling out so yeah i would have to tie that <laughs> i would have to tie that real tight okay but yeah i love her okay now between her and this next set i'm like i feel like i need to keep one of these i already got three items in my pile oh yes so. ma'am so you can actually tie this many different ways i just went to see how the little like i don't know titty cup would be um but you can definitely just do a bandeau and like a bow in the back or just tie it in the front into a bow which i'm gonna take it out and do that too but hello hello i love this it's polka dot the color the pale blue is like is this periwinkle i don't even know but it's so freaking cute i love this and it actually has a zip in the skirt and i love the high slit i'm not mad at it at all um if they would have did a double high slit i probably would have hated this but i love just the one high slit and i'm like torn between which two-piece set i should keep because this one is gorgeous as well. It's given vacation. It's given spring, summer. is beautiful. So yeah. Again, this does have a zipper. I just put the skirt over my head. And I actually have a little bit of waist, waist room. <laughs> well yeah, waist room in here. So yeah. Maybe I could pull it down some. I don't know how it looks in the back. But that's because the skirt is really high on me. Or is that? No, that's the top. I thought that was the skirt. I don't even know. But this is cute okay so let's see if i can do this without flashing y'all okay i don't know it's seeming really really unlikely okay you can also do just a really cute bow here or you can just do bandeau in the front and bow it in the back um of course you could make the bow cuter but i just did whatever anywho that concludes our shein haul our shein fit plus haul i'm about to hop into doing a curve haul in another video so definitely check that out too i don't know which one will be up first but absolutely gorgeous they'll come up like tuesday wednesday or wednesday thursday so i think i'm gonna do a wednesday thursday um like a wednesday morning and a thursday morning so that way by thursday night y'all will be reminded that i am doing like my live closet stream um everything starts at a dollar even wigs and i don't always have wigs but i do sometimes but all everything starts at a dollar and i do giveaways on there as well and at the end of every stream i give away a full entire outfit like a mystery box with five to six pieces um so and that's worth a hundred dollars because that's how much i charge for my mystery boxes so yeah i give away a free 100 box 100 dollar box and the value is usually three to four hundred dollars worth of goods inside two piece sets jeans shoes hats whatever i feel like giving away i give it away so yeah that's that i hope y'all enjoyed this haul i really got some good pieces and i feel like at first when they launched the shein fit plus it was given like okay this is you know nice to wear to church or cute to walk around the house but now we're getting the trends and we're getting what we really want to see for plus size women so i absolutely love it of course i had some things that weren't my favorite but i had some things that were amazing and that's to be expected with a haul that has so many things in it so yeah i hope y'all thoroughly enjoy see you with your hands up Going straight to the sky, let me see you put your hands up. Cause we do till we die and we on another level. To the rest, wave goodbye, put 